Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Okay, ready? Hey, check Megan. They start on the ground with McCaffrey. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Nice run defense presented there. And what I mean by that is discipline. Guys filling the right gaps in the right holes. No one over pursuing and making a very nice play. Lance with a tap forward on the jet sweep. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. He'll get a dozen there, and it's a first down, 49ers. McCaffrey running up the middle. And some good acceleration there as he's across midfield to the 48-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Again, they run again. It's McCaffrey. No dice this go around. He's hit behind the line and taken down. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. I'm getting the sense that Fletcher Cox is making offensive line. They want to take the week off when they have to play against him. <laughs> it's a regular routine for him, isn't it? It really is. That play there, that's him all day long. Good luck trying to block him and keep him from disrupting your offense. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. He did an okay job of absorbing the hit, just couldn't secure the football through the catch. And he was right there on the spot, force the incompletion. That's something defenders work on all the time. If you're there, make the contact, but continue to work your way through the receiver so that you can't possess the football and turn it into a catch. Back to the ground attack here. It's McCaffrey. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. Second down and right back to McCaffrey. And he's going to take this close to the first down marker as he stopped at the Eagles 23. This will be play number nine coming up on this relatively long opening drive as they look to convert on third down. They'll give it up to McCaffrey. And he gets this down to the 18, good enough for a first down. Five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. If you make the stop there, maybe you hold him to three on this opening drive. They didn't get the stop. Yeah, new set of downs now. Now you're worried about, just as you pointed out, not just giving up three, possibly giving up six. Let's see what they decide to do here because they've got to change up what they have been doing. It hasn't been working. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. Pretty effective run there, and now they can start to smell that end zone. Pound down rock. Make sure you use your old line to set the tone of dominance and physicality and pound the rock. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. Four yards on the play. That's going to lead to first and goal. No score after one on EA Sports. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. Now a run with McCaffrey. And across the goal line, into the end zone, touchdown 49ers. Christian McCaffrey, a five-yard touchdown run. And the 49ers post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. No, oh, he missed the PAT. No good on the extra point, so a let down there. And this will stay a six-point ball game. Now he's 
back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 16. They start on the ground here at Sanders. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. Play action. Here's Hurts. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Hurts with a little pop pass on the jet sweep. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Going to need a crafty play call here. 14 yards is what they need to try to convert this thing. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown finding space at the 40. He's still on his feet. Inside the 20. Touchdown, Philadelphia. And boy, CD, it's one thing to watch a great run, but when it's a great run with broken contact, it's like a cherry on top. That was a nice play. Elliott good on the extra point, and they take the lead here at 7-6. to six. the touchdown. Here's Elliott on to kick it away. It is fielded right at the goal line. A solid return. Pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. Here we go. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Well, the football changing hands here as this offense takes a field. Charles, they'd be fine with more of the same on this upcoming drive. Last time out, they found the end zone for six. And they're certainly hoping for more of the same, but the game plan, I doubt it'll just be a carbon copy of the last drive because I think this offense is ready to break out some new wrinkles and try some new things that might be hidden in their playbook. They want to use that confidence to its advantage while also keeping the defense from anticipating what's up next. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. This is McCaffrey. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is what every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. Back to the ground on first. It's McCaffrey. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. They stay on the ground. McCaffrey again. And he's going to take this close to the first down marker as he stopped at the Eagles' 35. I see an extra defensive back on the field. A little surprise here on third and one. Now that play is blown up. Losing yardage back at the 35. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. Just a simple run play there on third and one, but this D was up to the challenge and stopped them. Bring it up fourth down. Lance to throw for it on fourth down. And able to haul it in is Kittle. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. So the drive stays alive after the fourth down conversion. First and 10 inside the 30.
McCaffrey on the counter. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Defensively, it was Avante Maddox with a tackle. Second and 10. Here's Lance. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. A good pick up there of 20 yards. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical, they've been crisp, and as a reward, they're going to be set up with an early first and goal. This is McCaffrey on the give. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Christian McCaffrey as the first half is winding down. And the 49ers have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. CD for them, this has just been an offensive explosion here in the second quarter. Yeah, held scoreless in the first quarter. Now they find the end zone again here in the second. Sometimes you just have to have some patience. A lot of people think it's always an adjustment. You have to change what you're doing. Sometimes you just have to do your game plan just a little bit better. And I think that's part of what we're seeing here. So they go with a pass there on the two-point try and able to convert it, Charles. And a good job by the offense figuring out their two-point play and using it well. It's interesting how people are using the strategy nowadays, though, isn't it? It really is. And I don't know how much that one, that particular play factored in. But with the PAT moving back in 15-16, that kind of changed things, didn't it? It's really a part of everyone's strategy now. When I talk with coaches and when we sit with them, they always talk about they actually have two-point periods in practice now, something they never really did before. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Let's go now. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find it. This time for Smith, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jason Barrett. And the Niners are going to have the short field here as they'll take over right at the 50. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked up by James Bradbury. And the Eagles will have the football as this is taken up past the 30. They'll throw now on the final play. Airing it out deep for Smith. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Time over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. It's the Eagles ready to see the football first, and they trail here as we resume action in this third quarter. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. But Charles, we saw pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys 
can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. And this will be caught at the 30. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Quite a show of arm strength right there. That was in the air for a long time, and it was on target, too. Elliott now to have the extra point. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. the kicks away from a yard or two deep here comes a return and he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee maybe a yard shy of there at the 24 the 49er offense set to get this drive underway their halftime lead now evaporated. We're back to level following that touchdown a moment ago. And that shouldn't change the mindset a whole lot from an offensive perspective because they already knew this was going to be a hard-fought game. Now they just need to go out, execute their game plan, and keep moving. Here we go. Ultra. Ultra. Lance with a tap forward on the jet sweep. And he'll wind up losing yardage here, back at the 21-yard line. We'll see what they have drawn up here, a little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. This one caught by Kittle. And he is going to have a 49ers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. On first and 10, here's Lance. This will be caught at Samuel. He's got room at the 30. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Again, they'll throw it with Lance. Escaping the pressure right. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. Third quarter, all tied up. This is second and 10. Off of play action, and here's Lance. And that falls to the ground, incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and ten. Now Lance. Flush to his right. Open man is IU complete. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Play action, now it's Lance. He'll get just a yard on the scramble at second down. Okay, ready? To throw, it's Lance. Touchdown! Trey Lance finding Debo Samuel as his guys have now moved out in front. Gold to add the extra point. And he atones for his miss the first time around as this one is up and good to extend their lead. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. Okay, the Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. 
They did what they had to do to start this third quarter. Went down, got the touchdown to cut the lead, but the matching touchdown a moment ago, and we're right back where we started at halftime. Yeah, you're exactly right, Park. And that's caught inside the 35. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. They go play action with Hurts. And he'll just get rid of it. Well, sometimes an incompletion is the right play. And he showed that he's learned from his earlier interception on that throw. Instead of forcing it, he just tossed it away. Second and 10 now. Third quarter action from Philadelphia, PA. Hawk 70, Hawk 70. Here's Hurts to throw. Looking here for Smith downfield. And oh, it's incomplete. Oh, that would have been six points, but somehow he couldn't rein it in. They haven't been able to stop them so far this series, but getting a nice little stand from their defense now. So now third and ten, a big play to start the drive, but nothing since. Off the play fake, here's Hurts. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And incomplete on the deep ball. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. They'll try and throw for it with Hurts. A hit as he throws, and this is going to be incomplete. The Eagles unable to convert there on fourth, and the 49ers are going to get the football back. Lance and the 49ers now, first and 10 at the 31-yard line. And he'll start by handing this off to McCaffrey. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. And after the loss to start out, here's second and 11. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. Second and 11. McCaffrey. And he'll fight for a couple as the tackle is made at about the 32. We know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. Yeah, every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. And that's complete to McCaffrey. And he's going to have a Niners first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Big hook up there, forced to throw it on third down. The connection's going to keep the drive alive and also keep the clock moving. Yeah, and from a defensive perspective, didn't get a sack, didn't knock the ball free, didn't break up the pass. The and now off to the races, down the right side. And all the way down to the five. 110 yards rushing for him now on 17 carries. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. They'll run with Mitchell. They'll get this halfway home from the 8 to the 4 on a gain of 4. Able to stay in bounds, so the clock keeps rolling. And this defense right now backed up in the red zone. Another touchdown, it's over. They've got to stand tall quickly. Been in this spot before. Now there's a little bit of desperation creeping in. And he'll take this into the end zone for a sand.